What is going on gamers and welcome back to another tutorial. In today's video, we're gonna be setting up our Oculus account so that we can actually set up and have a, a account for the Oculus Quest 3. Now you can do this for any Oculus that you might have, whether it's the Meta, the Quest 2, the Quest 3, whatever the case is, it's gonna be the exact same thing. So the first thing that we're gonna do, and I'm trying to record this on my phone, so please be gentle with whether or not this video comes out good or not uh worst case scenario i can do it on pc and uh delete the account that i make right now but first things first you're gonna need to download the meta quest app you guys can see it here in the center right here this is the meta quest app so make sure that you have that downloaded and we're starting from scratch here so we're gonna click on that uh as you guys can see i already have my own account but I'm not going to be using that. We're gonna be starting from scratch and we're gonna continue with email. Now that's gonna open this up. Now again, we're gonna be starting as though we were brand new. So we're gonna continue with email and then it asks you what your email is. Obviously you're going to put your email in here. And then once you've put your email, you click on next. This is essentially an account that I'm making for the wife so that she can use all of my games as well. So we're gonna click on create new account and then it's gonna ask you for your personal information. Go ahead and put this in there. And then once you're done with that, click on next. After that, enter your birthday. And then again, once you're done with that, click on next. After that, you're gonna have to choose a password. So I'm gonna put my password in here. And then once again, once you're done with your password, click on next. After that, it's gonna bring you to this page. It says, finish creating your meta account and it's got your personal information, which obviously I cannot show. And then it's got a check mark down here. It says, I'm interested in receiving emails about meta quest releases. That's really up to you. Uh, for Jade, she's not gonna want that. So we're gonna turn that off and then we're gonna create account. After that, it's going to ask you for a six digit code. Now they're just trying to verify that it's you and stuff. So be sure that you put this in and then click on continue. And then once that's done, you can actually create your Meta Horizons profile. So this is how you show up and connect with others. Um, it, and it's basically going to be a nice little guide that you want to be shown here. So it says here, what do you want to be called? Your Meta Horizons profile name and username are public and can be accessed by people that use the app. So the name, enter the name that you want people to see. It's going to be Jade. And for her username, it's going to be Jaded Clover. After you've done that, click on next. And then it's finally going to bring you to this page that says, do you want to continue as JJ Clover? You're going to click on continue. And that will bring you here to what is now the Oculus Quest app. This is the first page. This is where you can do your store stuff. This is where you can check out games and apps and other things of that sort. Uh, you can search for stuff as well. You can check out a gallery if you've been saving your achievements and stuff like that. And then you've got the menu over here. So that's pretty much the way you set up your account so that you can actually use the Oculus Quest app. Now you're gonna need to have an account for your Oculus Quest app so that you can actually set up your system. Now in our next video, we're actually going to set up our Oculus Quest 3. So if you guys need any help with that, be sure to go check that out. But the good thing about setting it up this way is that you don't have to sign up with Instagram or Facebook or any of that stuff. If you pick up an Oculus, I know there's still a few people that think you have to tie it to your Facebook account. That's not necessarily true. You don't have to sign up with Facebook. You don't have to sign up with Instagram. Although you do have to make a meta account, which is still the same company keeping your information, but at least it's not tied to your public profiles and stuff like that. So if you guys found this video useful, please consider liking, sharing, and subscribing, and I will see you on the next video.